Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use two variable data tables in Microsoft Excel. My name is Renee Clark. Data tables in Excel are intended to assist with what-if analysis and there are two types of data tables. One variable data tables and two variable data tables. The one variable data tables allow you to use one changing input cell and have multiple output cells or result cells. With a two variable data table you can have two input cells, see the relationship between these cells when there are changes, but you can only have one output cell. When you're using them you access them off of the data ribbon in Excel, the what if analysis drop down option in data tools and select data table. It then opens up this data table dialog box. You will be using both a row input cell and a column input cell for the two variable data table. For our demonstration we'll be using an income statement. This is a spreadsheet that has working formulas in the income statement area where if I change the number of widgets sold or the expenses the results will change. We're going to use this to create a net income analysis using a two variable data table. I've prepared this spreadsheet by setting up the formatting for the net income analysis area where we will be inserting our two variable data table. In this analysis we will use two changing cells. We will use changing cells for number of widgets sold in the range I5 through I13. We will use an average price per thousands changing in cells J4 through O4. For our analysis we will start with a widget sold of 500 and we will increment by a thousand. So we'll inspect the range from 500 units sold up through 8,500 and we will look at prices starting at 325 incrementing by $50. Now to build this we want to see the net income so in this cell I4 we're going to put equals and we're pointing at the net income cell which in this example is B23. Now I don't want to confuse things by displaying that amount here so I'm going to set the formatting of this as a custom format. Format cells dialog box and under number I'm going to custom and then here I'm going to replace this with text so I need to put in double quotation so widgets sold will be the text I want displayed and I'm putting quotes around it to ensure that it displays. Now I'm ready to go ahead select my range for my table including the input column area and the input row area. Go to the data ribbon, what if analysis drop down, select data table and now in my data table dialog box my row input is going to be the average price per thousands for my income statement which is in cell B5 and then my column input is going to be the widgets sold which is in cell B4. You'll see both of these come in as absolute cell references. Click OK and the table will be populated for me. When I click off you can now see an analysis of what happens to net income when I sell only 500 at a price of 325 versus if I'm selling 8,500 at a price of 325 as compared to selling 1,500 at a price of 450 and so on. It allows you to really see what combinations will make your company successful. To make it a little easier to follow I can now turn this into a chart. To create a chart for this net income analysis to variable data table I simply select the range I would like to chart. I'm going to select the units and all of the net income analysis. Go to the insert ribbon and under charts I'm going to select the scatter with straight lines. 
Then I simply reposition this on the screen as I think best will fit my situation. If I scroll in a little bit, I can better see things. And now I can start with my formatting. I'm going to remove that chart title because since it's sitting right below the net income analysis data, it's a little bit unnecessary. I'm going to move my legend to the right. And then on my axis, I'm going to change the scale. So for my bounds on the number of units, I'm going to set the bottom at 500, my starting number of widgets sold for this analysis, and go up to 8,500. Then on my net income amounts, I'm going to start this at minus 300 and go to 1.3. Now I can tweak the background colors a little bit so that they better match the rest of my worksheet. And the last thing I'd like to do is go ahead and make these series be a little more meaningful and useful. So on my chart tools, design, I'm going to select data and I'm going to assign the series to the prices. So series one, I'm going to edit that and select the cell containing the price that's represented by series one. And then I'll go in and do that on each of the others as well. Once I have those all renamed, now you can see how my data looks. When I click off, I have a chart that complements my net income analysis embedded into my income statement. Easily done, took very little time to create. More of my lectures can be found on YouTube by searching for Renee K. Clark and then subscribing to my channel. You will find a variety of Excel lectures available as well as selected other lectures.